Hello YouTube people, let's talk about these Pagani design divers. Okay, first of all, why have I bought them? Uh, it was a Christmas sale <laughs> and I got them for uh, 100 euros per piece. And I believe that's a pretty good price for what you get for these watches. Currently they are going for like something uh, 120 euros on Aliexpress. So it's still good price. So let me tell you some good points, some bad points about these watches. And I will also give you my personal op opinion about these watches. But quickly about the specs. So what are they made of? They have ceramic bezel, sapphire crystal, which is not a flat sapphire crystal. This sapphire crystal is sticking out quite a bit and it has very slight, very nice dome. And they look very nice. I really like how these sapphire crystals look like. They are popping out, they have slight curvature, they look very beautiful. Okay, next thing, these watches have NH35A Seiko movement. I had several watches with these movements and I had not a single problem. Very good movements. They also have screw down crown and screw down case back which result into 100 meters of water resistance, which is, for me, that's plentiful. And so about the size, sometimes sellers do mistakes and list incorrect sizes. So I did measurements by myself and the thickness is 14 millimeters, uh, 42 millimeters in diameter. Lug to lug distance is 49 millimeters and the lug width is 20 millimeters and so that's it about the specs so let's talk about the design how do they look like in person what's the feel they look big and bulky but they look rather well proportioned they're not something too shouty they look like sporty watches that's that's very good i like the ratio between the width of the bezel and the diameter of the dial I like these fat, wide hands, big indexes. These watches are pretty. These watches are really pretty. What I don't like, that these dials are a little bit dull, you know? They are not shiny. They have some kind of texture, but up close it looks just like a plastic. You know, nothing, nothing too serious, nothing very special. And these two watches look very different depending on the light. Well, the black one is the cool one. Uh, it looks good always, basically, no matter the light. It's a cool looking watch. I like it. But the blue one, well, in the sunlight, in the bright light, it looks very nice, very sporty. These white indexes and hands just pop out on that blue dial looks very beautiful but in the dim light it looks kind of dull when there is not enough light this face looks a little bit gray it kind of lacks some saturation let's say some shininess something but for the summer as a beach watch as a summer watch this blue looks just impressive it's really beautiful very beautiful watch when the light is good but the black one is no matter the light it's just a cool watch it's a very cool looking watch i like it a lot what i don't like about the black one while the blue one uh, has this white date window and this white date window fits very well with overall theme fits very well with these white indexes and hands this black one uh, also has white date window and it just doesn't fit nowhere these hands these indexes these ornaments everything is beige yellowish color and that white date window just pops out like out of place and it doesn't look really that good you know i wouldn't buy without date window some date window is better than no date window for me but it just doesn't look good on this watch it kind of a little bit breaks the design but overall, it's still a very beautiful looking watch. Other thing which I like very much is these sapphire crystals. 
They are popping out of this bezel like few millimeters and they look so nice. And they have slight curvature, slight, slight dome. Not too much, nothing too distortive, nothing too reflective, but it just looks premium. It looks, it looks expensive. Another design thing which I like about these watches, I like these scalp bezels. Uh, they are sculpted in a, such a nice way and they are matte finish, brushed finish. They look really good in person. I like I like them. So these watches look rather big and bulky, but still beautiful kinda. So how do they feel on the hand? Do they feel big and bulky on the hand? Well, that's the good thing. They don't. They don't feel big on the hand. They feel much smaller on the hand than they actually look like. And they have this very flat back cover and it makes them sit very tight, very stable on the hand, nothing wobbles around. They feel great. So they are available with two options. You can buy them with a bracelet or you can buy them with these straps. I saw how the original bracelet looks like on YouTube and it looks horrible. The first link and the second link have have a, such a huge gap in between that original bracelet just doesn't look good. I haven't even considered buying it, so nothing about that. But how about these uh, straps? How do they feel on the hand? They feel bad. They feel bad on the hand, kinda. Because they're very stiff. They're very stiff and they form this kind of weird square shape. It kind of looks like they're gonna feel good on the hand, but not really, not, not the biggest fan. And even though the clasp is wonderful, the clasp is very good. It's very easy to adjust, very easy to close and open, and it feels very good quality. But the strap itself is very stiff and uh, I just don't like it. I, I, I just don't like it. And speaking about durability of these straps, um, it's questionable. I would say it's a little bit questionable. I have worn these watches just for several days and I don't know, they kind of already started to peel off a little bit, both of them. So yeah, I, I don't know. The durability is questionable, but I don't really complain, you know, I don't care about such things. I bought several silicone straps on Aliexpress. I paid uh, 1 euro 50 per piece and they are just simply wonderful. And when I put these watches on these silicone straps, they feel amazing. They feel amazing on the hand. Look how tangible they are. And super, super soft, super soft and squishy, squishy. <laughs> they, they feel amazing on the hand. I, I don't know, it's very hard for me to come back to something like a NATO strap or bracelet after wearing these silicone straps. They are just wonderful. So I'm not complaining about these original straps because these watches look just perfectly fine on very cheap silicone straps. And I'm just happy, <laughs> I don't care, <laughs> they feel good with these straps. So I have a feeling that Pagani Design knew that these straps have turned out not to be very good. So they added as a gift to each watch these NATO straps, which are actually very good quality, I would say. A little bit rough, the material is a little bit rough, but Every hole is heat treated, the hardware is seemingly very good and the buckle itself has Pagani Design logo, so it's a very nice gift. But there is one problem, let me show you. The problem is that these watches don't really work well on NATO strap. They look very beautiful, but they just don't work very well. The problem is that the lugs are sitting relatively high to the belly. So if the lugs were in the same level, that would be okay. But the lugs are a little bit 
higher than the belly. So the needle strap has to go quite extreme angles under the case. That's how it looks like on a needle. And that just doesn't flow. When I put it on the hand, look, these edges, the whole watch is kind of floating <laughs> in the air and it's very wobbly, very unstable, even though it looks pretty. This watch with this strap, with my shirt, it looks wonderful. <laughs> That's right. But the whole watch is just floating in the air because it just doesn't work with this watch. I'm not, I'm not complaining. It's a very nice gesture, very nice gift. Thank you. But I just have to show that these watches, they don't really work together with a Nito strap. You need very flexible, very slim Nito strap, but still it just goes too high and then drops down. It's... So for me, I just put them on very cheap, but very good silicone straps and I'm, I'm totally happy, very happy. Feels wonderful, very tangible, very soft, just great. Okay, let's talk about other things. So how is the loom? Well, readability of these watches is very good because hands are big, dial is big, indexes are big, so it's easy to see even in the dim light. But how is the loom? And the loom, well, if I would put, you know, the scale of loom, like on the one end I would put Invicta Pro Diver as a bad loom, on the other end I would put Orient Ray 2 as a very good loom, so these watches I would put kinda in the middle but a little bit towards Orient Ray 2 side. So nothing really impressive but the loom is okay. It's, it's not bad, it's okay. But as you see in this video, loom is not the same on all the watches. I don't know, is this because the black one has this beige color? It has different loom or what? But as you can see for yourself, the black watch has better loom, but the pip on the bezel, it doesn't shine on the black one, but shines very well on the blue one. So I don't know what's up, I'm just showing you how it is. Another thing, how are the bezels of these watches? I don't really know what to say, <laughs> I'll just show you. They have pretty big back play, they are misaligned, but they turn easily, so I don't know, do conclusions for yourself. Do you care about that? Uh, me personally, not too much. For this price, these watches are still pretty good, so I'll, I'll let that pass, kind of. <laughs> Another part of the watch, the crown. How is the crown? And the crown on these watches, wonderful, very good crown. The best crown I have seen was on Invicta Pro Diver that I had. And the only difference there is that these crowns are just slightly smaller than Invicta Pro Diver, but the grip itself is perfect. So I wouldn't give 10 out of 10, but 9 out of 10 for these crowns easily. Very good grip, uh, catches the thread very easily. And when you unscrew the crown, it pops out very nicely. And inside there is Seiko H35A movement, so the operation of the crown is also very smooth, very nice, very good crown. Everything about the crown, very good. So I probably showed you all and told you all, so what are the conclusions? Um, well, this bezel misaligned, bezel action has a lot of back play, uh, original straps, not the best, 
the loom between units is not consistent but for this price these watches are scratch resistant waterproof have very good movement they look beautiful they don't look cheap despite the dial looking a little bit dull plasticky but overall these watches look beautiful and you know i don't don't complain i actually recommend these watches they are good good movement sapphire crystal ceramic bezel 100 meters water resistance screw down crown just put it on some kind of cheap silicone strap and you're gonna be happy <laughs> seriously if you don't mind the bezel being a little bit you know questionable everything else is just great so yeah i do recommend for this price these are wonderful watches thank you for watching have a nice day <laughs> goodbye